So with the Dodgers being up three games to none in the 2024 World Series and Freddie Freeman being on the heater of all heaters, he's hit, what, six home runs in six straight games in the World Series going back to uh, 2021 with the Braves. Um, I guess Yankees fans had to decide to pull out all the stops to help their beloved pinstripes win a game in the World Series. Now, I watched this as it happened. And the first thing that came to mind when I was watching this was the playoff game back in, I think it was 1996, when uh, a Yankees fan, one Jeffrey Mayer, reached over the fence on what was called a home run by Derek Jeter, I believe. When it clearly, upon replay, should have been fan interference. That's what came to mind when I saw this last night. Um, going to play this here for you guys real quick. So here we go. Fly to right by Torres. Betts in the corner. Does he have room? Fights with the fan. And they're going to say that it's an out and fan interference. So an out, one gone in this first. It's the second time that Glaber Torres has hit a ball that has ended up in fan interference in this series. He had the home run turn into a double back at Dodger Stadium. And yeah, Betts has that ball in his glove, and this fan literally tries to take his glove off. <laughs> Prize the ball out of there. A for effort. Well, he won't be watching the game much longer. Now, I like John Spol's comment there about how he won't be watching the game much longer. Now, if you notice in this video, um, I have to find it here. Okay, these two Yankees fans are trying to say, well, he was he he was in the stands. That's fair game. You can see the one guy doing this, trying to say, yeah, he was right here. Right here. This is where he was at. Here, let's watch it again here. Yeah, see that? So an hour. See he's saying? Hey, hey he's right here. In this first. He's over the fence. That's, that's. Now, the rule in Major League Baseball is if the fan reaches over, that's fan interference. But the player reaches into the stands and the fans get involved, it's not fan interference. That's the rule. Well, in this case, Mookie Betts clearly catches the ball on the playing field and goes into the stands, and these two schmucks decide that, yeah, we're going to try to rip the ball out of his glove and help our team. Now, this is from over at OutKick. <laughs> Ian Miller writes, the 2024 World Series has not been the best showing for fans of the New York Yankees. In game two, hundreds of gathered Yankees fans cheered Shohei Otani, partially dislocating his shoulder on a slide into second base. At the start of game three, there were loud FU Freddie chants audible throughout the stadium before Freddie Freeman's first at bat, which, of course, what's Freddie do? He hits a home run, a two run homer, first inning. Then thousands of them left the World Series game innings early, yet another embarrassment in front of a national audience. But Yankees fans say perhaps their biggest embarrassment for the bottom of the first inning in Game 4 where Glaber Torres popped, up, popped a ball up down the right field line. Mookie Betts racing over to the corner to make the catch. His momentum carries his glove over the fence line into a front row. Yankees fans... And they literally ripped the ball out of his glove. Not cool. Not cool at all. So, uh, this is from the New York Post. Dodgers Tommy Edmond tees off on Yankees fans for interfering with Mookie Betts in the World Series. Tommy Edmonds basically called it ridiculous. And it was ridiculous. That's what the Dodgers shortstop said of the fans who grabbed Mookie Betts during a foul ball in the first inning of the Yankees' 11-4 win in Game 4 on Tuesday night, according to The Athletic. The guy was trying to yank Betts' glove off, pulling at his wrist. Looked like he got ejected. I'm glad he did. I've never seen anything like that. That was unacceptable. 
And like John Smoltz said, yeah, they won't be watching the rest of the game. And no, they weren't. They were ejected. And they should be ejected. One Yankees fan later identified as Austin Capobianco attempted to either rip Betts' glove off or at least dislodge the ball. While Betts attempted to wrestle his arm away from the fan, another grabbed his right hand in a stunning development and the ball tri trickled loose. Betts, understandably, did not appreciate the interaction in the moment and Torres was ruled out due to fan interference, although Betts clearly made the catch. The pair of fans were ejected for their actions. The former Red Sox star later downplayed the incident and said he did not get hurt on the play. Well, it's a good thing he didn't get hurt on the play because if he would have got hurt on the play, that would have even compounded this. I didn't even know he grabbed my hand, Betts said. It's perfectly fine. Yeah, when it comes to the person in play, it doesn't matter. We lost. It's irrelevant. I'm fine. He's fine. Everything's cool. We lost the game. That's what I'm kind of focused on. We got to turn the page and get ready for tomorrow. So here's some comments from the New York Post article. I remember watching the Sox Yankees game in the 70s when the Yankees fans took the glove and ball from Carl Yastrzemski in left field when he tried to make a catch. They kept the ball and threw him his glove. <laughs> One of the worst things I've ever seen in baseball, completely inappropriate. I hope these two clowns get banned from Yankee Stadium for life. And the reply is the Yankees have already said they can come back tonight for game five. They both should have season tickets taken away and be banned from the stadium. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't ban them for life, but I would ban them for the rest of the playoffs. At least. Letting them return only causes the Yankees more hatred nationally, as if they had already not are not disliked enough. Mainly because of stupid, unnecessary stuff like this. Ban these clowns. Yeah, ban them. At least for the rest of the playoffs. At least for the rest of the World Series. Which, there's only one more game in New York. Anyway, tonight, there should probably be some type of criminal charges. Well, I, I, I wouldn't rule that out. Well, yeah, it's New York. I would rule that out. Never mind. Even worse than Bartman, who cost his team, but just stupidly interfered. These two clowns were very purposeful. Never thought I would see a Major League Baseball player get mugged during a game, but that is in parentheses, Democrat NYC. It's a good thing they didn't manage to pull bets up there. They would have taken everything they had on him, including his shoes. <laughs> so there you have it. Game four of the World Series is going to be, at least the 2024 World Series, is going to re be remembered for the Yankees fans that decided to pry a ball out of a player's glove and interfere with a play. What do you guys think? What do you guys think should happen to the two fans? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. What are you waiting for? Uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys.